up, everybody? I don't normally get depressed. I don't, I'm just a happy person. But I have no recourse other than to get a little down about Evolution and Drive Club and the way they've handled this whole situation. Now, it's been quite a few days since Drive Club was released, and of course, the PlayStation Plus version was postponed and to an undisclosed date. And I was expecting Evolution every single day to be saying something to us, you know. The game will be coming this day. We're working on this right now. The situation will be rectified s soon. But there hasn't really been any information coming from, you know, Evolution Studios about this game. And they made a, a, a statement on it yesterday. And I'm um, going to let you guys know what they say. But it's kind of like if, you, if you're in college and your girlfriend or your boyfriend, depending on who you are, cheats on you with somebody else. And you find out about it and you know for sure that they did it. And it was their fuck up. And they come to your dorm every night and they sit and you can see them just sitting there stewing in their own grief, but they won't look at you and say, hey, I screwed up or I did something dumb. And after a month of doing that, you just start to look at them like, you stupid bitch. I mean, that's how people would think of it. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at evolution at this point. They screwed up really bad. They haven't been saying, hey, look, we're really apologetic. There, there needs to be something done about this. We're going to try to compensate you guys. Uh... We're going to get this out as soon as possible. We got this fixed. We got this fixed. No, nothing. They're just completely quiet. No big deal. And when a developer does that, it really irritates me. Now, of course, I'm talking about getting the, the PlayStation Plus version of the game. I probably won't be buying it because I'm not a big racing fan. But the PlayStation Plus version of the game would have given me an idea of whether or not this game was worth buying. And um, I know there's a lot of people who bought this game. Speculation is this game's already sold a million. A million units already sold. Now, that's a rumor. I don't know exactly how much of it's true, but if, the, if that is the case, it's sold more than Forza uh, Horizon, which is a, supposedly a travesty for that to happen. I know everybody I've talked to said Forza Horizon is like the best racer, and this game is not even close to that. So I think it's floating around a 7-2 Metacritic, so it's, it's a, a decent game, but there's more PlayStations out there than there are Xbox One, so I guess that may be the, you know, the, the deciding factor there. But the fact remains, even if there is a million people who own this game and have paid for this game, there's been no vocalization of the issues that have been fixed. There's been no vocalization of when people can expect the network to work, the net code to be repaired, and the PlayStation Plus people to be able to get their version of the game. And it's still not very clear. Uh, this article is on GameSpot.com. There will be a link right here in the description so you guys check that out. Evolution Studios, the developer responsible for Drive Club, has apologized to fans for the lack of information <laughs> regarding the delayed PlayStation Plus edition of the PS4 Racer. Drive Club's launch two weeks ago was marred by severe connection problems due to errors within the game's netcode, which Evolution has attempted to remedy ever since, which means they do not know what they're doing over there. <laughs> Prior to the release of Drive Club, Evolution and Sony had agreed to release a free abridged version of the game to PlayStation Plus subscribers which was scheduled to go live in early October. However, due to the online connection problems, coupled with the likelihood that a surge of new players would make matters worse, Sony decided to postpone the PS Plus, PS Plus edition. It is still unclear when the PlayStation Plus edition will be released. And on Monday, Evolution apologized on his Facebook page for the lack of updates on the matter. Now, I think that's a move forward. It's still, like to me, a little too late. The, the game is still going to happen. But this is like The Last Guardian. It's going to happen one day, but you have nothing to get excited about. There's no concrete date. There's no real information on when we can expect this. And at this point, even if it sold a million, I think that the fervor about this game is all negative at this point. Everybody's got something bad to say about it. I hear the game looks great. I've seen it. It looks, it looks really awesome graphically, but it's just not as fun. It's not fun like Forza Horizon 2. So we'll see what happens. You guys leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this whole Drive Club situation. If you think that Evolution should have handled the situation differently and maybe explain to us on a day-by-day -day basis what's happening, what's been fixed, what's, what's broken, and what they need to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you do, support my channel, hit that thumbs up button, and if you're new to the Beastly Gamer channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.